Yo, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are right off of the back of me listening to Ronald for the first time. Uh, that track and music video was insane. Literally no words. I don't know. I would need a minimum five, ten watches of that music video and listening to the song without the music video to fully grasp everything that happened. Uh, that shit was wild, bro. That was a ride. And now we got a feature from Jelly Roll. Uh, I expected that I didn't expect the Tech 9 feature, but the Tech 9 feature made sense. The Jelly Roll feature is a little different now. I don't know what to expect because I don't expect Jelly Roll on a song that's like Ronald. That's definitely Tech 9's lane. So let's see what Jelly Roll got on this one. Follow us over on stream, ladies and gentlemen. We do this live all the time. Every song is done and recorded live for the most part. So if y'all guys want to be a part of the content, consider joining over there. But also join us on Patreon. That is where all of the live content goes, especially if it doesn't make the channel. These will make the channel because obviously it's Ronnie. But there's things that we listen to that don't make the channel. They're available on Patreon. But let's see what we got. All my life, all my life. That's a... Uh... Video production of Ronnie Red, bro. Like, there's a whole set right here of like some Westworld style town. And why is there a Pegasus right here? <laughs> yeah, I've been high and low. I've been sober. I've been fighting, searching for my love in all the wrong places. Word up on the streets is I got a bad reputation. What the fuck? I thought Jelly Roll was going to come to Falling in Reverse. I didn't realize Falling in Reverse was going to go to Jelly Roll. Pause. That sounded fucking terrible, but you get what I mean. Bro, we just went from being the Black Death Devil Conqueror less than a month ago, and now we're in a riding a white Pegasus? How, how, how am I this stunned every time? Like, I should, know not to, I should know to not expect certain things at this point <laughs> for Falling in Reverse. But, bro, there's no way you could have told me that this was it. In all the wrong places. Word up on the streets is I got a bad reputation. Yeah, I may have truth, blood, but that was true love. Got a stroke of bad luck everywhere I look. Every time I go right, everything goes wrong. And I self-destruct when I'm close to love. So don't go save my soul. Because all my life I've fucked up and I can't deny. I do my best to get it together. What the fuck? The melody was fire on the chorus. The melody went the, the melody went hard for sure. Is Ronnie Radke not capable of leaving VFX out of his music videos? I, I literally have no words. I have no words to describe what I'm listening to right now. The hook was mad catchy though. The hook was mad catchy and it's very tongue in cheek and it's very like there was literally a dude dressed as a chick because Ronnie's entire like online persona on doubling down about trans. The hook is hard though. I don't even know what to say about this. It's, that, that's how off guard it's catching me. Je I mean, Jelly Roll fit like Jelly Roll's whole vibe and aesthetic. I feel like fits perfect for this. I feel like it fits perfect for this. But bro, the hook is catchy for sure. Like that's the that's the part where I'm like, yes. Is this a risk? Like for someone like Ronnie, is this a risk of a song to take? 
Or is this not really risky because you know his fans are gonna like go there with him? Like, like, is there no risk for Ronnie because we're we're gonna sit there and we're gonna listen because we need to know what he puts out next type shit. I think that I think that his devoted fan base allows him to take these kind of risks if it is a risk. And like if Ronnie had a country twang on him right now, you could easily see this being like a country, like a rock infused country song versus a country infused rock song. Like if Jelly Roll sang the hook on this, or let's just say he completely sold this song to Jelly Roll to sing. Like it's just that far away from being predominantly country compared to being this far away from being predominantly rock. Solo's going crazy right here. Go. Bro is such a fucking troll. Holy shit. Bro is just such a troll. What the fuck was that? Go. A, a metal breakdown line dance? See, look, him singing the hook makes it sound like a country song. Also, Jelly Roll's voice is so fucking crazy. Ronnie's voice too, but we already know that about Ronnie. Fucked up and I can't deny. I'm doing my best to get it together. I told you once, I told you a million times. I just can't live like this forever. Not grandma with the bazooka. Oh, that no sustain is so fire. How does bro come up with these music videos? Oh, uh, you could have said. Ernest, I'll give you five fucking million dollars if you guess within three chances what that music video and song was going to sound like. I would have never got it. I would not have expected that. And the music video, I thought we were going to get a normal music video for once. I thought we were going to get like, oh, okay, we got like this okay corral type vibe going on. It makes sense. Jelly rolls on the track. Nope. Turned into a fucking CGI fest all over again. We got octopuses taking down fucking trains. Jelly roll was already a big motherfucker. Then we got him. Blowing up, we had a rainbow in the middle of a fucking, in the middle of a duel. I feel like you either fuck with Ronnie's music or you don't. And I feel like if, regardless of what category you're going to fall in, if you know who he is and you know he puts out a song, there's no way you don't listen. There's going to be people that don't fuck with this song 100%. There's going to be people that 100% do fuck with this song. But regardless, you're going to listen. You're either going to be like, damn, let's see, let's see what, let's see what new shit Ronnie drops. I'm going to be like, damn, let's see what new shit Ronnie drops. Bro, that was a ride.